All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, and in fact, our first mod in the now officially released Kerbal Space Program. That's right, folks, we are officially in version 1.0, and the mods are already rolling over to the new version. And this one that we are going to have a gander at today is the USI Life Support mod being made by Rover Dude, and ah, uh, you gotta love Rover Dude. He has made just so many wonderful mods in the past for this game that when I saw this pop up on the forums as a new mod and for the new version of Kerbal Space Program, I had to take a look at it because, well, given his track record, you can bet it's probably going to be a good one. And, well, as the name probably will suggest to you, it is a life support mod, and it's meant to sort of be a middle ground between the two existing major life support mods that we already have. Now, a while back, we had a gander at the Snacks life support mod, which is sort of the easy end of the spectrum of the life support mods. You know, you just have one resource. When they run out of snacks, they just get, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've looked at it. Uh, it once they run out of snacks, they just kind of get sluggish, don't do things quite as well. And then on the exact opposite end of the difficulty spectrum, you have tack life support with multiple different resources, all sorts of bad things that can happen. And the USI life support mod is meant to be a middle ground between the two and made to really fit in with the existing USI mods, such as the modular colonization systems that Rover Dude has made in the past. So let's first off take a look at the uh, just three parts that get added into the game by this new USI life support mod, and then we'll talk a bit more about uh, how it works and what you do with it. So if we just grab a random capsule and hand it to the utilities tab, we will find three new life support tanks, which are what provide you the precious supplies that your Kerbals need. So very similarly to the snacks life support mod, we only do have one resource, and that is supplies. Uh, unless you want things to be a little bit more difficult and then you technically have two resources, we'll get onto that in a minute. But yes, for right now, what your Kerbals need to survive and, uh, you know, keep on doing their work is just generic supplies. And the tanks come in three different size varieties. The 1.25 meter tank, which holds 500 supplies, which of course, like any tank, you can adjust to your needs. Uh, we then have the 2.5 meter tank, which has 4,500 supplies and is, well, bigger. And then finally, the 3.75, which holds a whopping 15,000 supplies, enough to keep your Kerbals fed for a very, very long time. And now these parts on their own aren't uh, too impressive model-wise. They just look like any of the fuel tanks that we could grab from up here. But I do like the texture. I uh, Like with many of the Rover Dude mods, you get this nice detail on the texturing of, you know, nice little, uh, warnings and barcodes or well I guess IDs rather and different information and of course <laughs> I love this acronym so they are supplies but technically they're nutritional organic meal substitute or NOMS and that that just makes me laugh I love it and yes that is well those are the parts that get added in and if you just kind of want to roll with a basic life support of your Kerbals needing food, this is all you need. But if you do want to make things a bit more difficult and you have the other USI mods installed, such as the uh, modular colonization system, as I have installed here, you can also, well, when your Kerbals eat the supplies, they will then produce mulch from said supplies. I find the word mulch amusing. It is essentially just Kerbal Poo. But yes, that is what they produce after eating. And you can store that Kerbal mulch in a variety of different tanks that uh, are included in the modular colonization system, such as the radial supply tank. You'll notice here under supplies, which has been added into these, so the colonization system has been updated to work with this. You will also notice that it can also hold mulch right here and what you can do with this mulch 
is you can put it into a greenhouse to convert into organic matter, which you can then use to uh, fertilize your greenhouses in space. So it, it works full circle with the USI colonization system. Your Kerbals eat the food, it becomes mulch, the mulch then can be converted over to organics, which then can become new supplies for your Kerbals to eat, and the life cycle is well completed. And it's it's a cool, cool little system, a very simple, so not quite as difficult as tack, a little bit more complicated than snacks. And yeah, that's basically how the, the system works in general. And these are the essential parts for it. We have our three tanks added in for supplies, and the existing modular colonization system tanks that work with it, including mulch. And uh, it, like I said though, if you don't actually want to bother with the mulch system, your Kerbals essentially just throw it out the hatch. They don't care about it, it just doesn't exist unless you want it to. So it's kind of a, a nice option in difficulty system here. Uh, but let's exit out of here, yes, don't save that. And I have in orbit three ships so that we can talk a little bit more about the whole system and uh, how it essentially works. So if we go to the tracking station and first over to supply test one, where I have, I believe, either Bob or Bill, one of those guys sitting up here, nice and happy with his glorious snacks. And he, in supply test right here, has roughly one year, 37 days, and five hours worth of food because I popped him up in here with just that singular 1.25 meter tank of 500 supplies. So these, these supplies will last you quite a long time. So even just one of these 1.25 meter tanks will last your Kerbals, uh, multiple Kerbals, for a while. With just Bill in here, it will last, oh god, a very, very long time. But Bill is special. We'll get onto that in a moment. Now, you'll notice that I also have this Supply Test 2 over here, which isn't just out of supplies, they are, you know, starving. They, you'll notice that it has turned a bit yellowish going into the red. If your Kerbals are well supplied, they have all the food that they need, this text here will show up as green. That shows you, hey, they're fine. They have all the food that they desire. Once this gets to within 15 days of running out of supplies, it'll start to turn yellow. And after they've run out of food, it'll start to turn red. And once it does turn red, your Kerbals will no longer do anything. So a bit more punishing than the Snacks mod, uh, but not quite as punishing as Tax. Your Kerbals, they're still alive, they'll still be okay, uh, but they won't do anything. They'll just sit in the capsule essentially sulking, uh, refusing to do any work. You can't even uh, go on IVA with them. That's it. That's all they can do until they get new supplies. So if we actually... Uh, oh, can I... Pro I could possibly do this from the map here. I always... Always prefer to go back to the, oh, nope, oh god, here we go, switch to, there we are, we're fine. I always prefer to go back to the tracking station, because sometimes that doesn't work for me. But hey, we are in the new version, so we should be good. And we have Aldi Kerman here, and she, as you can see, zero supplies, is in dire straits. Currently, we can do things with her, we can have her EVA, and that is perfectly fine. She can go out, can board the ship, but if we just warp us to about negative 15 days, or well, actually, whenever this just turns red, we will then be able to see that she will refuse to do anything at all. Okay, we need to start going a bit more. Oh boy, we can't go past that speed. Hmm, hmm, this might take longer than I expected to get to red. Uh, but, <laughs> yes, once this does hit red, uh, they won't do anything. Uh, they won't do EVAs, they won't do uh, crew reports, they'll just sulk in their capsule until they get their supplies. Now, I said earlier that Bill was different, and that's because any of the orange jumpsuit crew, so your Bill, your Bob, your Jebediah, and now your Val, the new female character in version 1, these guys with the orange jumpsuit suits, they're the elite, they're the special Kerbals. They are not actually affected by hunger. They will still eat supplies, but once the supplies run out, 
they they're they're not affected by it so they can still continue working and it, I, I kind of like that because that gives you four Kerbals who can sort of push through to help get new supplies to your other Kerbals. Whereas all the lower uh, trained crewmen, they will just be sitting there in agony going, oh God, we need food. So I, I, I do like that they have that little inclusion of the elite Kerbals. And I'm trying to stall for time for this to get red, but <laughs> maybe I should have put this out at a higher altitude. That is actually a good plan. Let's go down. I, of course, have installed HyperEdit, as I always do for these mod reviews, so I can, you know, fix things if I mess anything up. So let's put him at, yeah, about there. That should allow us to go at a faster warp. So let's go up, and up, and up. And up. Oh, no, we can't go any faster than this, but we're going at a pretty good clip here. So we're now at negative four days without food, and it's still in the orange. I'm waiting for this to go into the red. Oh, come on. Keep it going. I'm thinking, considering it was the 15 days out from zero, it starts to turn orange. I'm, I'm thinking that once we hit 15 days without food, it'll turn red, but we'll find out in a moment. We're on 14 and 15. There we go. Aldi Kerman refuses to work. We get that lovely little bit of information. And yeah, you'll notice the EVA button is grayed out. We cannot click it. See, there we go. Tur tourists may not disembark the vessel. Aldi has gone from a normal astronaut to now that she's so hungry, she's technically a tourist. She's just sitting in the capsule now and will do no work until she gets properly fed. And that, I, I like that system. I do like it. So your Kerbals don't die. They just become useless until you get them some new food. Now, let's go back to the map and go to our mulch test over here to take a look at what I was talking to you about uh, that... Uh, you know, if you do want a little bit more difficulty out of this, oh boy, let's uh, fast forward a bit until we're in the sun. So yeah, if you do want a little bit more difficulty and not just supplies, but you also want to deal with the, uh, shall we say, back end of su the supply chain where uh, your Kerbals have eaten their food and the byproducts thereof. So we have this little crappy station here with a Pioneer module from the uh, Universal our, uh, oh god, the UKS. So it's the orbital version of the modular colonization system. And you can see on here we've got a lot of machinery, we've got a lot of electrical charge, but we have zero organics. And we are going to make those organics. Now I've got a little crew of people in here, and they have gone through while we've been doing this video. They have uh, eaten actually less than I expected. So about 127 supplies of their overall. And they have produced, oh, mulch. I have actually run out of mulch space. I forgot to deploy this. There we go. Now, now we have plenty of space for more mulch. But yeah, at the moment we have 23 mulch. And well, we have electrical charge, we have machinery, and we have mulch. So if we start this greenhouse, it should start to produce Organics. Now let's see if we can go into, oh, nope, not that button. This button here, and we should start to see a little bit better of a gain here. So the recyclables amount is going up. Organics, not, oh, it does not appear that we are producing any. We are producing 8.82 mulch. So I'm wondering if perhaps we need to get it to a uh, specific amount of mulch before we can do anything here, but we should actually be producing organics unless I've done something horribly wrong, which always is a possibility with me. I'm not the greatest at this. But yes, uh, just to quickly go through, the Kerbatats should have about 75% efficiency with turning your mulch into uh, organics. The old C3 Pioneer module, which we have here, should be at about 50% efficiency, and the eventual Point, oh god, no, what is it? The the soon-to-be-released, hopefully, Mark IV modules for the modular colonization system should be at a 90% efficiency, I believe. Let me look over at my other monitor here real quick. Yes, they should be at 90% efficiency off-world and 100% efficiency on the surface. And yeah, once you have what you need, you should be producing organics. 
I have a feeling I've just done something wrong here, but yes, your mulch should be able to be converted into organics if you do it correctly. Uh, maybe read up more on the forum thread, and also keep in mind, this is still in alpha at the moment, so there, there may also be a few bugs. I could have sworn this is everything we needed, but I could be wrong. But yes, that is, well, what we need here from the USI life support system. It's a cool little thing. I, I really enjoy it. I like that it works in quite nicely with the modular colonization system. I like that it's a middle ground between snacks and tack, because I gotta admit, I'm not a huge fan of, of tack life support, purely because it's just, it's too much. It's too much for me. But snacks, even I'll admit that snacks was a bit too easy. So I, I like this USI life support. It's a very good middle ground between the two. You have your supplies. You have the waste product of mulch, which you can then produce, if you do it correctly, of course, into organics, which can then be made into new supplies down the road. And it's, it's good. I, I really like the system, how it works in total. And it's, it's a very good start. I cannot wait to see how this progresses through Alpha. And of course, at this moment, it is one of the few of version 1.0 Kerbal Space Program mods that we have out there. And I love that it's not just a conversion of an existing one. It is a newly released mod that we can hopefully all enjoy. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, uh, that you go and uh, download this mod to try it out for yourself. As usual, links in the description. Ooh, yes, one point about installing this mod. It doesn't say anywhere on the mod forum post that you also need module manager but you do. If you don't install Module Manager, this none of this will work. <laughs> so get yourself Module Manager as well, uh, along with the USI Life Support, and you will be good to go. Give it a try. I hope you all enjoy it, and of course that you have enjoyed this episode, and that you come back for the next win. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another fun mod, but until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to figure out what in the hell I did wrong here. I could have sworn I had everything right for this. <laughs> we'll see. Later, folks.